I just saw this on Reddit and I really want to go over this with you guys because I have said something that I was not supposed to say in my Kelsey videos so I want to clarify this. The main question right here is that how do I read the chain rule notation like this? So here is the deal. On the left hand side we have df dx and the right hand side is where we apply the chain rule we differentiate this with respect to another variable, let's say u, and then we use the chain rule, right? So if you write this down, you get df and then du. But this is what I said in my Cal3 videos that you might have heard before. I will say something like df, and then you divide it by du, and then you multiply by du over dx. That's kind of bad. When you go from here to here, I was not supposed to say df divided by du. That is pretty bad. Right? That's pretty, pretty bad in my opinion. I admit that. So if you have heard me saying that before, yeah, I'm sorry that that was my bad. So what is a better way to say this though? First, I would just like to write this down with the same color df du and then you multiply by du dx so i will say this first i will state that we are using the chain rule so i will say by the chain rule so this is how we can make everything clear that like why we have the extra thing right here by the chain rule we first differentiate, I'm not going to spell out everything, just differentiate f with respect to yeah, I think this is how people abbreviate, with respect to u yeah, then we multiply by the derivative of u with respect of with respect to x all right so i think this is how i will say from now on i think this right here can make everything clear yeah so just real quick this is one of the things that we did in the cal street videos right let's say we are talking about uh, what the unit tension factor is so that's capital T by definition this right here is dr ds and notice these are factors so you can just say this as dr dx nobody will be mad at you but if you want to use the chain rule because usually r is parameterized with respect to t for the time s is for the r length so I will say something like we first differentiate r with respect to t then we multiply by the derivative of t with respect to s and again because of the chain rule yep so I think that's it and of course this notation is <laughs> some people say it's good some people say it's bad because you can just cancel this and that it's like don't do it or do it up to you i i don't know but anyway though 